Hello Shuko and Tin Toy fans. This is the Tin Meister coming from my hobby room. We're in Northern California and we have a special edition today. We're going to be talking about the refurbishment of the Combinado, the Shuko Combinado 4003. You'll see during the the coming uh, episode how we restored this car, this actual car. And we're going to talk about Restoring, let me put this back together. We're going to be talking about restoring one like this. So you can see this one needs some things. It needs a speedometer and some other things. And well, we'll see. But we're going to take off, we're going to take off the tin body and take a look at the inside. And you might be able to see that it's quite dirty and it doesn't really work that well. It's, it's missing a wheel and so on. So let me suggest that the very first thing you do when you get a toy like this and you decide you want to restore it or refurbish it is that you test everything on the car and you write down everything that's wrong with it. Everything from the paint to missing parts to broken springs to whatever it is that you're going to write down all the things that are wrong with it. Maybe the horn doesn't work. Maybe the steering doesn't work, all those sort of things. You're going to write that down before you start because as you get into this, you're going to find that you may forget all the things that's wrong, that are wrong with it. I know I do. And because you're going to probably take some time to restore, it's probably going to take you probably a minimum of a week, maybe longer if you don't have the parts to restore it. And you'll kind of forget what it was that you wanted to do and what was wrong with the car to begin with. So without further ado, let's move on to the series. Okay, so now we start the refurbishment of the Combinado 4003. Here's the car before we get going. We've taken notes on what's wrong with it. Missing tail light, broken windshield, paint's not in great shape. Needs some work. So the first thing I want to show you is their little uh, hole there for the horn key. Now these are the three screws. The first one's in the front with the red arrow. The two in the back, there's a red arrow for the second one. And the third screw is on the bottom right there. And notice that the wheel right here is not looking good. It's very loose. We'll fix that later. So here's an interior of the car before we fixed it and you can see the steering wheel is stained, there's lint and dirt and dust all over the place, broken windshield, but all the parts are there, that's really important. So here's the car when we've taken it apart, we're taking a look now what's wrong with it on the inside. You might want to take some more notes about your car at this point. Another view. Notice the three screws and the bumper has come off. So look at how much dirt and hair and lint there is. After years of use, this is what happens to a Shuko car. We got to get that off. There's a wheel that's come off. We can fix that later. But I, what I like to use to start off is very, very gently use a brush, a paintbrush, a small paintbrush to get that get all that lint and dirt off so I can really see what's going on without causing any harm to the car. And there's a brush I normally use about that size. I can get in and into some tight spots with that brush. So here we are. There's some of the lint that's come off. I use the, the, the tweezers there also to get some of the lint off. And here's after we've just used the brush. Look at what a difference that is. Just using the brush. What a difference. That's just the brush, guys. And you may find that just cleaning it off with the brush is all you need to get your Shuko car going. So now we're going to start the major disassembly of the car. Here are a few of the tools I use to do that. But you may have found when you cleaned your car with the brush and the tweezers that it's just fine and you don't need to go to this extent. But let's look a little further. The first thing you do is you have to remove the seat. So the little tabs right there, you have to bend them with your tools. Be very careful. Bend them back just enough to make them slide out. So here we've removed the seat and we can see the motor and the steering and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to try to remove, well, we are going to remove the motor from this car. So there are 
several uh, tabs we need to bend up and then we'll pull the motor out. You can see the uh, tabs in the last video or the last uh, scene and here's the motor out of the car and here's the, the chassis without the motor in it. Remove the motor and now we're going to remove the front bulkhead. See the tabs there? We're going to bend those straight. Once we bend them straight then we'll be able to pull the uh, front bulkhead up. Now they're straight and we're pulling it up and getting it out of the way as best we can and moving it forward so we can get at the steering wheel. So we pulled it up and pushed the um, bulkhead forward and now the steering column you can see it's coming out of the steering wheel. We're going to remove the little horn button. Now we've removed the horn button. You can see it down at the bottom. And at this point, we've got the car somewhat pulled apart, but we need to get the bulkhead off and we're gonna remove it by pulling it away from the steering column. So here it is off of the chassis and laying on, on our uh, bench. In a little while, we're gonna, we're gonna take the steering wheel off and the speedometer off and clean them as well. We've, re we've removed the motor and we've removed the front bulkhead and now it's time to take off uh, the rest of the stuff in the front of the car, the, uh, the, the horn mechanism and the steering mechanism and we'll clean all that up. Once we get all that taken apart and we can clean all the parts thoroughly. So now we've pulled the steering wheel off and there's a little cup inside there. You got to be careful not lose that part. And here's the steering wheel with a cup inside of it. You can see where it is. You can take that right out. And we've got the speedometer off too and we're going to clean those in a little while. So here we've taken off the horn motor and we're taking a look at the steering mechanism. And to do that we need to fold back those two little tabs in the middle there, make them come straight up and that'll pull out that part, very important part of the steering mechanism. There it is taken apart and now we can take the wheels off with their knuckles. So there are the wheels, those are the knuckles of the wheels and those that is the, that important part we were just talking about and this is what the car looks like without that steering mechanism in the front. And now we're taking a look at the underside of the body. We've turned it over and we can see the dashboard, the back of the dashboard and the little clips that hold the dashboard and the, and the uh, windshield on. We're going to bend those up and take the windshield off. And we've done that and now you can see there's the dashboard and the broken windshield still attached. Now we've taken the broken parts off of the dashboard. And now we've got all the parts together and we can see all the various components that need to be cleaned. It's really a great idea to get little bags to put all the little parts in and then put them all together in a box with it all together in one model in one box. And then number that or, or uh, put a name on it so you remember what it is. So now we've disassembled the Combinado and we have it all bagged up. We know where everything is. And the next phase of the project is to clean it and de-rust all the parts. And that'll come up in part two of this series, the Combinado refurbishment. Thanks for watching, you guys. Talk to you soon. Stay tuned for part two.